This is the arena of the supernatural. The supernatural is always natural. To come where you are and bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. I hope you are sharing with your friends, sharing the page, sharing the videos. And I'm telling you, liking our Instagram, liking our YouTube channel, follow, subscribe, and also our Facebook. Likes, 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 and share with your friends. And also, by Twitter. Twitter handle, yeah, hashtag days of glory. And God is going to bless you by doing so. Be the part of the kingdom of God expansion. Oh, we are growing bigger and better and broader. Namsanje, we are going to receive Baba Basil Tryon and my special father, also Kluma Night You know, the man when he preaches about the righteousness of God, I'm telling you, your life will never be the same again. We know that God has grace in financially the man has done so much wow when it comes to and uh, pre- feeding uh, uh, building uh, uh, almost say uh, feeding us to, with faith and encouraging us to believe god and with the uh, with the order of melchizedek i'm telling you and you your life will never be the same again as tonight is going to minister to us he's a man who has done so much and he has built buildings of millions through cash. He has a fabulous building, beautiful capacity. I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed. Let me allow my father, Baba Basil Tryon, to speak to you and give you the word of God. Wow, a verse after a verse, a verse illustrates the base. I'm telling you, you will understand who God is. I'm telling you, you're gonna be blessed do so enjoy so we're speaking about ordering in god's restaurant First transaction is a faith transaction. To seven this imali you call. You believe in Jesus, you are made righteous. U call Ujes Walunga Goglunga Wangulungu. Now you are the righteousness of God. What is the righteousness of God? It's who God is. You are little gods and he's the big God. We are no more servants only. We are sons and daughters. Full grown spirit of sonship. We own everything. We are heirs of God. Joint heirs with Jesus Christ. So young and I. Into the restaurant of God. So, so tall again, abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Umusa, Wankulunkulu, Umming Ganje, Umusa, Wankulunku, Unga Pesu, Son. Aiki Son. It was his lula, umusa, wangulungu, umusa, unga pizwe son, unga tlupegi, maune son, umusa, wangulungu, uzu tini son, ngobu musa, unga pizwe son, hallelujah, so was umusa manje, so unge ni, Musa wangulungulu so yenzani uzo kipa klupe to not take you out of poverty and bring you into rich you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty may be made rich it's a grace transaction and then a 
It's a righteousness faith transaction for you to be healed. Now you come into healing because he was made sin without sin and he bore our sicknesses on him on the tree that we being dead to sin lives now unto righteousness. By whose stripes you are healed. You are healed. And then the fourth one is wealthy. Say wealthy. wealthy. Say nzokeba. Multi-generational wealth. Mankeba mena. Isn't Ghana's arms zokeba? Nes ngane says ngane sam siso kaeba. U kaeba log. So I'm, I'm moving on from being rich. And so now I know how to order in God's restaurant. I need to share testimony. You like testimonies? And a final is kulumelent ungulungulo yenzai. One man, one businessman in our church, one man, I raised him up because that's what we do. We raise up people from the guttermost to the uppermost because that's the work of God. He specializes in doing that. Doesn't matter how low you are, he will lift you up right to the top. So I raised this man up. He's been with us now for 25 years. He's a king. And he's a big king. Specialist king. In the Bible, there is no meeting physical needs, especially money and wealth, without a man of God. You'll never find it in this book. One place, one place you won't find it, where God helped, gave someone a financial miracle, material miracle, without a man of God involved. You believe in the Lord your God, so you'll be established. But you believe in his servants, the prophets, so you'll prosper. Your prosperity is in the mouth of the man of God or the woman of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, your miracle is in my mouth tonight. You can take it out of my mouth. You can have it. What I'm talking to you is a miracle. It's a miracle preaching to you tonight. And so this man of God, in the last 10, 12 years, he has given 90 million into the church. 90 million. Mm. Yes, cutting and a son when got a hola under thousand rand a month. This year alone, Unigu Baba from January Gunam Sanje, two million rand. Mundo Kabilu Yanigas, the cool Unigum Fundi. My phone up there, but finally, we don't find this work. We don't talk to the work. We don't mail the work. You got your lawyer. We don't find this work. My phone up there, but finally, we don't find this work. You go in a great restaurant, la. You go into it. It makes me astounded. Oh, my mom, find this food. 
restaurant. <laughs> Il est restaurant en gitanda yo. Il restaurant en gitanda yo. Mount la gule restaurant. I was yo kokele gule any restaurant pel. Oh, kanjan. Ujuguza la. Avin jabula. Mama me sambulel. Miyama nonke. Me kulum. Oh, baba me chumba la. Oh, nonke. Hallelujah. Must learn how to connect with your money. Must learn to connect with your money. King Lupumla. Obuyela Shumaila Nam. King Lupumla. Obuyela. Nansing Kosi. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I'm a youth member at NCF and our dad's ministry. I've been in church for six, seven years. I'm a driver in church, uh, but I've made up my mind that I want to be a kingdom financier. So I sat down with dad, we prayed, believed, but nothing happened. And then last year, 2015, I said to dad, I want to pledge 100,000. At that time, I didn't have, I was not even earning 15,000. So I said, oh, I believe God to pay it within 12 months. And nothing happened. I wanted to build my mother a house as well. But long story short, things started to happen last year. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Uh, long story short, Bazalwane. Uh, last you year, built your mother a house. Yes, I did that. I built my mother a house in the Eastern Cape. I think it was, it's worth over 600,000. I built it debt free. You <laughs> built it debt free? I built it cash. I've been sowing to your ministry on all and the projects. I've been getting your grace. I've been getting your grace. Yes, Dad. In the marketplace. Yes, Dad. And yes. to, to the point whereby this year alone I've sold his life over 150,000. 150,000. <laughs> Just to his life and to personally. To the ministry, to the church, I think I've sold over 200,000. And let me tell you, that's, that's the seed. Harvest always greater than the seed. I bought a, a site, a, a land in Devon North, 2,200 2, square meters. It was worth 500,000, but they gave me for 250,000. I bought it. I, most of the things I do them cash because I've been so into his ministry. We should do things cash in the church. So things has, has been happening this year. All I can say, open your heart, receive. You are a true man of God. I honor so, and salute to him. So King Lopumla, yes, sir. how much you, you said you're going to sow next year into me? I want to sow a million rand. You're going to sow a million rand next year. Because, because 
if you want to live like a king, find a luch alenjenging goals. Mouch alenjenging goals, uzo vunanjenging goals. Hallelujah. Mouch alaganan, uvunaganan. We feel. Abanya by a seven and seven when. Sheldon, <laughs> Bono mamu yang fundi se buti skulu me ganjani is zulu kona nama actions ganje and the anointing comes on the actions. Hey, when? Hey, thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. You must have a man of God. You must have a true man of God, true woman of God, is standing together as one. They're anointed too. Anointed properly. Properly anointed. When they talk, you feel it. Yes. The, words, the words are weighty. Mm. Glory is in the words that they speak. Glory, kabad. How was busy in Ingos? Sane, oboyela, osonde, leganga. Yabona, Ingos. It's another businessman. All my ama bearers, most of them are businessmen. Millionaires among Basaba. How long are you in the church, son? Uh, I've been there for two years. Two years. Two years of bell. Yeah. Oh, sugar, and Jake. Sequence in Jani Gwena. Oh, come, lamb, go, go, tabby, see the food. I want a little come, tab, see the, any gum, hallelujah. Oh, but you're a good queen, Zinja, and a good Unganella, Seguin Zinja, and a business, Yako, young, the Ganan and the washroom, and the Bichan. I mean, was your food to go to Chalaganja? Amen, was a lie. Being a little come and negotiate with Jesus. Bazarani in Joangish was figure and save a towards the end of twenty fifteen. And the best strategy Shaga cool as a family. It's now a turn about to his endorsement to business a million actually business in because at certain times when Tolu to Tolu to Mamma say Cocella, you would dare to be so nice on it. Oh, I tart into the Lupega. There was a time that Uma Mobeguye no be kokelis into it times because <laughs> the business was not doing really well. But when really, to cut a long story short, as Lupumlo said, I'm, 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 I don't know that I'm, I'm not apologetic that I'm a millionaire. I'm really not, especially because same as feeling who dare to soon say something, but alone. And I want to go to any food, any bamble, and sometimes he says it has a something a, a joke because he's speaking now and we are laughing, all of us. But that okay, there's something in my pickup. He said, if Africa, if praying will make anyone rich, would no one in Africa will be poor? Because no one prays like Africans. But what makes you rich is your seed. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Dad. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Angbize umundo mu shamanje, a lawyer. Oh, 
obuye sanhlala iloya manje uma ngithinti ngizotheni iloya yam How old are you? I'm 24 years old. 24, 24 years old. And you are a lawyer. Yes, Dad. Your know, pastor Bradley, youth pastor, says you're going to study to be an advocate now. Oh, yes, Dad. In fact, in fact, uh, <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. I'm going to study to be an advocate now. Oh, yes, I'm going to study to be an advocate now. Oh, yes, I'm going to <laughs> you, you, you. Uh, what happened last Sunday? What happened? You, you got baptized. Yes. 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 How many years you now gave your heart to the Lord in the church? And three years, Dad. Three years. Came into the church, gave his heart to the Lord. Sunday he got baptized. And now he's my lawyer. Yes. I will tell my lawyer. <laughs> God bless you. I love, I love you so much. We're showing you kingdom work. It's a work of the kingdom. Maybe it is Zulu. If you give me seven, seven, nine, nine Zulu, you're not a Sikulumai. You can't learn to sing Chengisa. Learn to hear the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But nine, nine, nine Sikulumanga. What a number of Sikule in. Mutan, mutanawa. Buya la posha. Buya. I go shot the log. Some corner. I was some corner joy and say, Into what to so do like me in a car. Who so do like me in a car. This is Okulumagas. Okulumaganan and a businesswoman food. Obatian and Jay. How many years are you in the church? Uh, this is my eighth year, Dad. Eight year. Just speak because you got an anointing to yes. preach. Just tell them a little bit about what happened to you when you came into the church. Okay. I mean, okay. Before my finances, I always want to talk about especially girls. I feel a low self-esteem, fear, because I'm going to be so single mother. So man figure a son doing a taller he identity and has told good and go ban as a person good and go ban and go sin. Got so like a cool long go see one father Risha and a born go see any get hand one by lake ill. So what my woman doing? Yeah, no bubble colored. Yeah. <laughs> okay, carry on, pal. So, I want to go to shop and long food is saying that he colored food. Okay, oh, carry on. So, 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 so I can, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a process engineer by profession, but man, figure NCF, I knew what Tungulungulu has more than just being an engineer. I knew what he, he calling Yami, it's in business, and it, it also has to do with the empowerment of a band. So, Three of uh, three to four years ago, I started my own business. Nga move from engineering, and get a good business. I'm run. I'm now running a a cleaning company, which is basically penetrating the manufacturing sector. But also, we are now moving to e-facilities management, the logistics, all of that. In Gitole, Kubabwa, Mingosini, and we are moving places. Amen. Hallelujah! Thank you. Thank you. I want to give you testimonies like that. Most Sundays, most Sunday, like Umpundis, Konumusa, one Kulunkulu, Kumfundis, Unkulunkulu, Fagumusa again, Kona Unkulunkulu, Zoniga, where no Musa, Wake, Unkulunkulu, Sebenza, Ganjal, Njengu, Doctor, Lucebenza, no Muti.
aglungi sumzimba wako. Umfundi isi, usebenza na umusa, na ukolwa, agwazi guglungi sele emoyeni. Yoni nda bafani linthizyo ya kuhlangane, na umfundi isi, na umama umfundi isi. Kuhlangane ngempele, gobu nkulu 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 Tina spega nga pande. Nkulu nkulu pega nga paga. Unga yenzi zintu nga pande. Kona maku nga lungile nga paga ati. Lento yenza ayo nga pande nga egi sebeza. Infizio is the production center of your life. Yonku into yaki pumenthi zwe. Insini yaku ochala gyona infizio ya. Sexo puma lent oi kulumayo is oyen sega ge lent oi kulumayo ngoba uchalile enthliswenyako. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we want to leave some nuggets with you. How to order in the restaurant. Fanuzos pataganjan. Funuazum tetope. Konum tetu emoye. Jenga konum tetu emsabe. Konum tetu emoye. Some people only know the person of Jesus. The person of Jesus prepares you for heaven. But the principles of Jesus prepares you to live victoriously in the earth. You need both the person nomtetu. Mau no Jesu pelunga unga lu unga nev unga ve nomtetu. Uzofa uye zulu in gantu zolala la ushupeg. Umtetu ozo gens gubi iskuili. Umtetu wangulunkulu ezo gens guti utebe. Wat unkulunkulu Jesu. Uzo lungi sinkizyo yako konuzo gwaz guye zulu en giskatufa. Kwata gufle guye zulu en mawufa. Kwata sfuni zulu la. La shlala kona manje en nge nyama. Nyeboni nyama ngulungulu watata nshabad. Ngoba yonk into ye nyama efuna galayo uzo itole mshabatin. I say, I am Zimba, I am Shabbat. I say, I am a man who is 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 a Manje siya funu guti nge skati sifu siye zulwe. Mauta langwa gushu uzo ye zulwe. Kwa ta mautanda saka kulu pela. Usazo ye zulwe nga ntuzo sazo shlopega. Nga nga umtanda sa wako. Umtanda sa nga ega yenzi kubu iskuli. Umtanda sa pela nga ega yenzi kutukebe. Uzo shlanga na nomfundi swaku, noma mfundi swaku, ngembele. Shlanga na nenfiziyo yako. La ndu ndu enfiziyo. Kona mauchali mbewu, there is a connect. Seed will connect you. A seed meets any need. The exit of your need is your seed. In Mark chapter 11, verse 22, Jesus said, answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that those things which you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatever you say. 
You're going to have to understand the basics of ordering and how to wait for your order, how to receive your order, and what to do when you receive your order. You've got to know this umteto wale restaurant. Now Jesus Christ walked fella as Pambane. We died on the cross for you. But it's even more than that. He lived on the earth to show you how you must live on the earth. He is our example. He is the pattern son. And we are talking about how to live on the earth. Because most of you are born again. How many of you born again? Can I see your hand? You're born again. Good. So, accessing it, you should go to the world. You need to know how to live on the earth. Hallelujah. We're going to show you how to order. So how did Jesus live? We know that he went to the cross. How did he live? He spoke to trees. What happened when he speak to the tree? In 24 hours it dried up. I speak a 24 hour miracle in your life. In 24 hours you're going to get a miracle. Poverty will dry up in the name of Jesus. Sickness will dry up. The curse will dry up. You will not eat from that tree ever again. No man eat of thee ever again. It dries up from today. I speak as a prophet of God. It dried, That tree dried up. This is true. So the disciples, they came in 24 hours back. They say, Master, this tree dried up from the roots up. Not from the fruit down. From the root up. You see, when you've got a man of God to speak into your life, he'll dry it up from the root up. I dry the root of poverty up. When a root is dry, there'll never be a fruit again. But if you dry the fruit, the fruit will come next season and next season. But I dry that root up now. 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 The root is dried up now. Your debts are canceled now. You have unexpected income now. Money got your name on it now. Money got your address on it now. Jesus spoke to trees. Jesus sat down for a few minutes. Jesus also said, every plant, every tree that the Father has not planted, must be uprooted. Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say unto the sycamine tree, mulberry tree, be uprooted and be cast into the sea and it should obey you. I speak to every tree that the Father God never planted in your life. I say, be uprooted from your heart. Be uprooted from your mind. And be cast into the sea. The word of faith. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uproots every tree. That is bringing negative fruit in your life. It is uprooted today. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. The disciples had fished the whole night and they had caught nothing. And then in the morning they're washing their nets and Jesus comes. Now in the Sea of Galilee they don't fish during the day because the water, 
ifeni ihambisimali phela kuyona umoya ngcwele ihambisimali umoya ngcwele ibuyisimali yami kanti le feni ithambisimali shintsho feni bekisi feni ngale le ingahambi nemali yami haleluya haleluya glory to god amen haleluya Ish, Ish, Jesus says to his disciples launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a haul some of you have fished the whole night you caught nothing caught nothing is over today it's over you're no more going to fish in shallow waters you are launching out into the deep things of god deep call it unto deep at the sound of the water sprouts of god and when they let down their nets they try to lift it up and they, grr, 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 the nets were breaking so they called everybody else there to come and help them i speak into your life today that you're going to have boat sinking net breaking catches of money in the name of jesus there's going to be so much you're going to call your children you're going to call your grandchildren you're going to call the neighbors because there's more than enough for everybody in the mighty mighty name of jesus when there was a storm when you sit down Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my boy, son, you forget my little. Oh, I think you forget my son. I don't know my name. I don't know my man. I don't know my son. 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 You must have a container. You must contain the harvest. If you can't contain it, you're going to lose it. You must be able to contain, contain, a contain. I release an anointing of containing on you. I release an anointing of containment on you. You're not only going to reap, you're going to contain the harvest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So in this restaurant, you understand how Jesus operated. He was never short of money. Not once ubonu Jesu eshumayela ehlupheka. Angazi abafundisi abahluphekayo ayo bavela. Kodwa abahambi njengu Jesu. Robu Jesu kade ngahlupheki ngesikhathi eshumayela that's a model God wants for you to be a rich pastor to be a wealthy pastor you want a wealthy pastor you want a wealthy father hallelujah David was a great king the people made David a great king. Let me share a testament. Eight years ago, I was living in a house. It, I'd done it up very nice, but I had a dream in my heart to buy a house by the sea. A big house. And then one day the Lord said to me, the time has come now for you to get the house of your dreams. Yeah. 
And I went down to Deber North, to Lelusha, right down on the sea. In the Riyam Hengati Hotel, it's two stories. But <laughs> A science lom seven scansha lope. Science a gasselent. No baba walk, science a gassing and pale. We are chalang and pale. Umma, we are chalago, mamma. Every man, umma, my young chan would say, Tapsy lilla, having pass off. Um, one and just a blella ganja, chomba ganja, who pass off, umma, more. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. So there was a storm. And Jesus is sleeping on a pillow, the back of the ship. Wow. And the disciples got frightened. They wake him up. They say, don't you care? And Jesus asks him, where is your faith? And he stands up and he rebukes the storm. He says, peace. Be still. And there was a great calm. The wind stopped. The waves went down. And he's telling us that we can do the same thing too. For everyone that's going through a storm tonight. There are all different types of storms. There's money storms. There's family storms. There's business storms. There's children's storms too. There's also sickness storms. Some storms come suddenly. A suddenly storm can come. You don't know where the wind came from. Tonight, I speak to everyone who has a storm in your life. Every storm, every kind of storm. I say, peace, shalom. Be still. And there was a great calm in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now if you look at all that that is happening, Jesus is ruling the earth. He's ruling by commanding faith. When we in we feel we fun up by hands and learn to can't you when us we hands are we babu seven to go and now he ni no mo when no seven to go bab when no final go hands and learn to when go call go ako ulungi se learn to call u Jesus call u baba wa Jesus when daughter na yango lungu lu umtu ana wangu lungu lu manje unungu lungu nga pagati go ako when nga pagati nungu lungu lu Funukulu, <laughs> Maukulumin 
Lento ikulumayo iphume mhliziwe. Enhlizweni lento ikulumayo ihlume mhliziwe. Because the words come from the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. And so you got to change your language. You got to change your language and start speaking like Jesus. Speak like God. When there was darkness, God didn't speak about the darkness. God simply said, let there be light. And there was light. When you got to order, you got to speak like God. The universe cannot listen to you because if you don't speak like God. Righteousness is who God is. Righteousness. And righteousness owns the world. I said righteousness owns the world. And you are the righteousness of God. So you own the world. Umsabu, umsabu wako. Imali la, imali ako. Izindlu la, izindlu zako. Msebenz la, msebenz wako. Botwa. You can be an owner. Botwa la, mausupega la. No mintre yako. I was good tall. I was tall in Tonga Yazi. You need to know my call. I'm a call. We are baboos. He need to call. I ain't the call. Jesus. But to call you Jesus. What a long or more. You're manja. He need to call. I aware. No manja. I ain't call. He call. Uzofunda. Who call. Faith comes out of your words. You release your words into the universe. And the universe is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. When you start living like Jesus, talking like Jesus, talking like God, then the universe will obey you. Angels will obey you. Angels are ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation. Every one of you has more than one angel assigned to you. Yes. When Unga Pez was in laws, in laws is seven. When have you ever given somebody a job and you don't give them a job description? In laws, if you go seven, when got our Kulum Lut, in laws is all seven, na lendo Kulumai. Hallelujah. O Satan, Uk seven, na lendo Kulumai. Unkulunkulu sebenza la lento ikulumai. Lento ikulumayo fanele gubi lento ikolwayo entlizu enyako. If you believe in your heart and you confess it with your mouth, that is how faith begins to operate. Hallelujah. And so we're teaching you about making an order. You must understand the basic foundation of how faith operates because the economy of the kingdom is faith. Imali emoy esebenz emoyen ukolwa. Imali le oichala yola aisebenz emoyen ukolwa gwa kongo chala le mali gobu chala le mali ukolwa lent ingi shoyo Lento ingi shoyo umoya ufaka le imali nyako. Umoya ozo buisa le mbe wena. Ezo buisa e uzo vuna nayo. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Agyoni imali. Imali gopela. Ayoni mbe u. 
imali mawumba emhlabathini ufake imali imali ngeke ihlume kodwa le mali ukholwa kwakho ozoyikhuluma kule mali manje lento oyikhuluma kule mali iyangena emalini so uchali imali emoyeni kodwa akiyona imali ilento oyikholwayo oyenzayo ayibonga inkosi ayiva lento ingijena yona ngoba ngifuna ukuthi ukuthatha imali yakho mi angifiki angifiki la ukuthatha imali yakho Zotata uchala wako. Uchali mbe wenu fagi DNA emalini. Mang bambe sandle numbila, imbe uyombila. Nga paka tigule mglomile nchamfu. Kona, there's a whole mili tree. And three or four cobs of milis. But if you plant that seed, it can grow. But if you don't plant it, it doesn't grow. Money got no DNA in it. You, go call puts the DNA in the money. You speak into that seed. Just like when I said every tree that the Father has not planted be uprooted in your heart there was an amen and that went into that money that you plant and now the tree not the money the tree that the father didn't get planted is uprooted in your life amen. you understand what we're talking about umteto emoyen funui kolwega aselend in the name of jesus so when you come into this restaurant you must order what you want because the earth now belongs to you. It is your earth. Hallelujah. In Psalm 115, verse 16, the heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth has a given to the children of men. Wasupega ngenda ba yes son u satan watatum sab. One negum sab is nganen zak. Manja says he being tina sees nganis and kulungul. Uchesus pambanen, his blood was also shed for the earth. God so loved the world. That he gave his son. Jesus didn't only buy back people. He bought back everything that God gave people. Including the earth. So now, it's like your money in the bank. If you don't follow the rules and go and draw your money out, you won't have money to live on. Yet you got money in the bank. It's the same in creation. There's enough wealth for every one of us. We don't have to steal anybody's wealth. If I can get it, you can get it. God's got no favorites. He loves all of us the same. Hallelujah. And that's why I'm here tonight to tell you that you can get what you want. There was a man for 38 years. He was at the pool of Bethesda. Jesus came, asked him, what do you want? Jesus is standing before you today. He's asking you, what do you want? You're telling him what you need. He never asks you what you need. He said, if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things that you need will follow you. But he comes to this man and he asks the man, what do you want? Do you know what he answered him? He says, I got no man to put me in the water. Excuses, excuses, 
excuses will get you nowhere in life. Jesus is asking, what do you want? Not who is going to help you. You know, when you look at the Bible, there is a different meaning of poor. Poor got two types of people in the Bible. Poor has got to do, first of all, with widows and orphans. They are poor people. But also, when you look in the world, there are beggars that are poor. God wants you to help widows and orphans, but he doesn't want you to give your money by the beggars. You must teach them how not to be a beggar. In the kingdom of God, there are no previously disadvantaged people. Let me repeat that. The previously disadvantaged people are outside the kingdom. In the kingdom, there are no previously disadvantaged people because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. That previously disadvantaged is passed away. Come and see all things become new now. You now got an advantage over an unbeliever. You got favor of God. They don't have favor of God. God's given you an inheritance. Now that you are righteous, it means you're innocent. <laughs> it's called the scandal of the gospel. You're innocent not because you didn't do wrong. Your innocence is not because of what you did or didn't do. Your innocence is because of what Jesus did. He removed your sin as far as the east is from the west. And he put it into the sea of your forgetfulness, of his forgetfulness. He will not remember it anymore. So to be justified, to be righteous, means your innocence is restored. Heaven doesn't have a record of your sin. God doesn't keep a record of your sin. The blood of Jesus Christ is speaking on your behalf in heaven that the blood was shed to, to remove your sin. So now you can come boldly to the throne of grace. You come like a child of God. You come like the righteousness of God because righteousness owns the earth. Righteousness owns the wealth. Righteousness attracts the wealth. Righteousness receives the wealth. And righteousness sows the wealth. Let me repeat it to you. You need a righteousness consciousness. You are conscious of you being right with God. In your unconscious mind, the program is no more the sin of your past. It's the righteousness of God of the present and of the future. And so when you make a demand on the universe, you're making a demand as the righteousness of God because the righteousness of God owns it. But if you don't know is good so long we are called Jesus. We call our work. Say, "Long is seal in Clisio Yak." Man, you are cut in Clisio Yak. But he lends you a gun. He's trap trap young. Can't you hang in in Clisio? Man, God in Clisio Yak is your Garden of Eden. Your wealth comes from your heart. In the name of Jesus, the most precious thing is this heart that God's given you. And when you know that your heart is right with God. The spirit is right with God. Umoya wa ku clean. Yabonum fundis mea lape. 
Just waga lagoti. We are called waga kululem.